What's up guys, it's your boy Caperfin. Today, I thought I'd go over one of my priest tank RFC runs. So, here we are on one of our undead priest tanks. Our gear is quite basic. We have most of the eagle. And yeah, here we go, we're about to pull. I make sure to have at least a few consumables. Like I said, my gear is not the best of the Eagle, so I make sure to bring Rumsey Rum, Elixir of Fortitude, and the Armor Potion. So even before I start entering combat here, I apply a Renew. Any healing done by the Renew is going to be threat for me. So here I am pulling a few Trogs. I make sure not to pull too much, it's not the best gear. Then I cast a Power Word Shield so I can cast a Mind Seer without getting spell pushed back. You'll see even without Power World Shield, I, I will just push through and still cast Mindseer. I see one of the Trogs is about to get pulled. I have a Mind Blast ready right about here. Oh, no, I didn't even need it. I just wanded. And I just continue to cast Mindseer in conjunction with Power Word Shield. I make sure not to spend too much mana. Here I can just simply wand for the damage and therefore threat. Here it seems I proximity aggro or someone nearby through their healing. I didn't really expect this, but regardless, I still cast mines here in the hope of pulling the one trog that is near my teammates. Uh, I didn't manage, but it's okay. It will die. So as you can see, I have no mana. So the most trogs I can pull is five, six, which is still a lot of trogs. And, you know, me being me, I have a tendency to pull more than even conventional tanks. So immediately when I lo lose combat, or leave combat, I start drinking. Cast Renew on myself for the same, you know, same reason, threat. Pull a few trogs, there we go. Power Word Shield, and Mind Seer. My Power World Shield uh, disappeared really quickly, but that's okay. I still cast Mines here. If I lose aggro on one of these trogs, chances are it's because someone is single targeting them, and they'll die anyway. It's really not an issue. I cast Touch of Weakness, which deals threat. Very good mana to threat ratio on Touch of Weakness for Undead. I pull these two guys here in the tunnel, cast Power Word Shield, Mind Seer. It seems these uh, these teammates accidentally proximity aggro, that's no issue. I cast one on the one I don't have aggro. If I had a bit better gear, I would be Mind Searing here non-stop. And uh, my teammates wouldn't even have stolen aggro there, but not the best gear. We're still managing. These are still... I should not be doing these big of pulls with the gear I have. Yeah, slightly better gear, and the mage would have not even stolen aggro there. Uh, I believe this... Priest is two days? Oh, yeah, level 25 two days ago. All right, I pulled this one here. Cast Renew. Touch of Weakness. Touch of Weakness. Every time it falls off, I just keep putting it on. This is going to be a big pull right here. So I might be using Power Word Barrier. First, I'm going to exhaust my Power Word Shield. Then I use Barrier. This allows me to spam a Mind Seer non-stop. I am furiously clicking on Mind Seer right now. Every tick of Mind Seer is crucial. There you go. Even going out of the Barrier, I cast Mind Seer. Here, I should have kept a little mana for Mind Blast. It just takes an extra second. Boom, there we go. We stole aggro. So, this was a very big pull. Here we 
go. We drink immediately. It's very important that we start drinking as quickly as possible so we can pull as quickly as possible. We want people to not even notice that we're pre-stanking. Here I should have waited a bit more, two more ticks of mana, because I'm about to do a big pull here with the boss. Yeah, I should have had a bit more mana. Oh, I should have mine seared right there. Two ticks of mine seared were completely wasted when I have martyrdom proc. Uh, so we might lose aggro on the boss here. I have to use a bomb. So yeah, I made a mistake there. I should have immediately cast mine seer after the the stun on the bomb. I did not. I still had the wand auto shoot swing going on. That was a bit of my mistake. I could have played that better. If I did, the mage wouldn't even have pulled aggro there for like a second. So immediately as soon as we leave combat and we start heading to the next part of RFC, I quickly equip a MP5 gear set so my mana can start ticking while I'm running. I'll take this opportunity to buff myself as well. I try to leave the area as quickly as possible so I can... Uh, get to a safe place, start drinking mana, and before my team even gets to me, I will have a decent amount of mana. There we go, I quickly drink. I make sure to precast Power Word Shield. As you can see, mana going up, mana going up. We equip our AoE dungeon gear set, and let's go. We still have Power Word Shield, 10 seconds, and we cash renew, pull this guy. This guy, touch of weakness, touch of weakness. I make sure to tell my teammates not to deal damage while I'm pulling these mobs, because I'm going to be pulling a lot. Here, maybe I could have stopped. Oh, there we Yeah, Okay, I'll stop here for a Mind Seer. Oh, that was... Yeah, I should have stopped two seconds ago and casted an earlier Mind Seer, but that's all right. We should have aggro on all of these mobs. I'm going to make sure to tap target shoot wand to establish a decent threat lead. It's better to keep aggro with wand rather than using a spell, obviously, mana. Here I'm going to do a really big pull. So I'm getting as much mana as I possibly can. I notice my other teammates have full mana, so I'm not going to wait too long here. I will need Inner Fire. This is going to be a big pull. I have to pay a bit more attention. Going to cast Touch of Weakness. Touch of Weakness. I'm going to pull this Warm. I should have used a lower rank Shadow Word, Shadow Word Pain here, but that's all right. Okay, first we're going to exhaust Power Word Shield, followed by the Barrier. Then we're going to spam a Mind Seer. As you can see, not too much mana. I'm not going to be able to... Oh, uh, we were lucky enough to get a mana tick there for another mind seer this is a really big pull so i'm gonna dynamite here here i'm gonna start buffing myself for the next pack even before this mob bot mob dies i'm gonna cast inner fire so the minute i leave combat all i have to do is drink I'm making sure to stop moving and start AoE DPSing as soon as the uh, Power Shield um, debuff falls off. There we go. It seems someone accidentally single target one of the mobs while I was pulling. We're going to cast a Mind Blast in order to steal aggro and then follow it up with a Mind Seer. Uh, things are a bit tricky here. It was not really good for that guy to pull that one mob. We're, we're a bit off, off key here. No mana. I had to use a dynamite there. There we go. Tab targeting, tab targeting. There's a pat. We're going to wand the pat. Going to keep a bit of mana for mind blast.
It doesn't really matter, it's going to die in a matter of seconds. Even if I had the mana, I could not cast it because I got knocked back. So, <laughs> yeah. This is why Renew is so good for AoE threat and single target threat. Renew will deal healing threat in the background, even if you're stunned or not down. So it's important to have a really good pre-pull Renew set. So this is a set with a lot of healing that you equip before you pull. You cast Renew and then you re-equip your normal gear. Here this is going to be a relatively big pull. I'm going to cast Mind here on the Voidwalker. As you can see I'm getting knocked down constantly so it, it's really good that I'm uh, casting Renew before these pulls. I'm going to save the Mind Blast for that one mob that got aggroed. going to get a bit of mana here. I'm going to pull the boss as well as the two orc mobs to the right. People have a tendency to just single target the boss and not wait for me to pull. Oh, we have a pad here. We're going to pull this. We're going to cast Mindseer. Ooh, that's an unlucky uh, air pushback as well as, yeah, we're getting constantly knocked down here. And cast Mind Blast on the boss, hopefully steal aggro, we did. I'm gonna have to th use a bomb here. We got some very unlucky knockdowns, air knockups, right? With this gear, uh, yeah, it might cause issue. If we had better gear, it, it wouldn't even matter. We, we would have not even lost aggro for a split second there. Even when someone steals aggro, it's for a split second. Like, the mob is literally dying as it heads toward one of our teammates. Cast your power word shield, and there we go. So as you can see, there is room for improvement. I'm sometimes sidestepping, and that sidestepping is literally a second, a second of a half of not casting Mindseer. You want to completely stop and cast Mindseer. Don't sidestep. Uh, I am losing some precious threat there. That's something I could improve on. Here it's important to have a decent amount of mana just in case I pull the left pack. And I usually cast Mindseer on the Voidwalker because even if someone pulls the Voidwalker, it won't deal a lot of damage to my teammates. The uh, Voidwalker deals the less amount of damage of, of these mob packs. Uh, yeah. Oh, also a reminder, Mindseer will not deal damage on its initial target. It deals damage around that target. So you won't produce any threat on the Voidwalker. Which is honestly not an issue, right? That, that's where Mind Blast exists and, you know... Power Word Shield, get Martyrdom immediately. There, yeah, we go. Yep, cast, cast, cast. Mindseer, Mindseer, Mindseer. So here we did a bit of a mistake. We cast Mindseer on the Warlock instead of the Void Walker. Uh, so yeah, someone pulls aggro for a few seconds. That's all right. We cast in Mind Blast. Wand, wand, wand. All right, here we're going to do a big pull. We need a lot of mana. Make sure if we have inner fire, touch of weakness, power word shield. I'm going to pull that back mob. It seems someone accidentally proximity aggro. That's no problem. We're going to first exhaust power word shield. Mind seer, as soon as we get spell pushed back, boom, barrier, mind seer, spam. Could use a bit of mana. This gets better with gear. And cast mines here again. Uh, I think we might need to bomb.
No, I think we'll be fine. Just gonna tab target. So there we got a Mart proc. So I cast mines here. Quickly drink. One of the paths got aggro. We're gonna say this is why we save mind blast. We don't just use it in a pack of mobs because you never know if someone's gonna pull a nearby mob. It's also a good rule of thumb to never end a fight with absolutely no mana. At, at least keep a bit of mana for mind blast. Alright, we're just going to wait for the power shield debuff to go down. We're going to pull this mob. There we go. Touch of weakness. So here I did a... I did a mistake. I should have casted Shadow Ward Pain on the boss. Uh, because people have a tendency to cast single target spells directly on the boss and not focus on the big picture. Alright, as you see here... Yeah, the druid is just single target casting one mob while I'm dealing with a bunch of mobs. <laughs> so I used a bomb here. This uh, whole situation could have been avoided with just establishing a kill order, a kill order target icon marker. And uh, hopefully that'll convince any casters to properly attack the right mob. Uh, but that's alright. The lowest one of my teammates ever got to is about 60% HP, which is fine because the mob dies seconds later. We're gonna pull this back mob here. Touch of weakness, touch of weakness. Renew is sticking in the background. Mine's here. There we go. Wand, wand, wand. I also noticed the Mage doesn't seem to be casting Blizzard. It would be actually really good if the Mage would cast Blizzard, but I, it's possible Mages don't get Blizzard at this level. It's actually good for us. Blizzard is, is yeah. I think the... It's hard to decipher. I believe the Mage is casting Fireballs, so that might be the reason sometimes he'll steal aggro for a split second is because he's casting a single target spell on one mob. It'd be better if it was Blizzard, but I don't think he has it yet. Oh yeah, this is a bit of an iffy situation here. Someone proximity aggroed the mobs and I have no mana. So the Priest Healer is going to tank for a few seconds here while I... There we go. Dead. Nah, didn't even matter. I haven't been paying attention if the Druid has been casting Hots on me. Uh, what I recommend is to have a macro a simple slash say macro to use at the beginning of the dungeon it, that basically says I appreciate heal over time effects if you have any if they don't cast heals heal over time effects no problem just say it once mm, yeah all right this is a really big pull this includes the boss so I'm gonna use a dynamite uh, that was not the best use of mind seer And there I went a uh, about half a second not doing anything, but it doesn't really matter. Boss died. And yeah, there you have it. That is my Priest Tank RFC run. Uh, it's not bad. I could have done a few things differently. I made about mm, five mistakes. 
uh, yeah, five mistakes. They're very minor, but it's just something I want to self-improve on. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to subscribe for more Priest Tank content, and also join the Priest Tank Discord to stay up to date with any Priest Tank discussions. I also have a Priest Tank Guide, which I highly suggest giving a look over. I also live stream Priest Tank gameplay. You can find a link in the description of this video. Highly suggest dropping by the stream. In the next few days, we'll be prepping the Dwarf Tank for Raid Priest Tanking, and there's a lot of cool stuff to talk about. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.